Okay, so we're gonna check out how to make this uh, neon light and shadow effect with text here in Photoshop. Let's select the gradient and we're gonna switch it to the third. And I gotta go here and drag it like this. I can press and hold shift so it's gonna straighten and I gotta release it. We're gonna need to merge this, so press control shift plus E. There you go, so now you can see we got one single layer. I gotta unlock it. And I'm gonna pull this here, press Ctrl J to duplicate, press Ctrl T, right click, click on horizontal, and I'm gonna double click release and pull it to the right. Actually, I'm gonna try it out to pull all the way out and select both and pull it in. But you can see it's too wide. So I'm gonna select one of them and now I'm gonna select both, press and hold shift, select both layers, and I'm gonna bring it here to the center. But now you can see we got this line going on, which is not good. So which is the one? The top one is the right one, all right? So I'm gonna need to mask this, I'm gonna create a mask. And I'm gonna select the brush again and select the first uh, gradient option here. And make sure that you're on black and white, okay? So this has to be on basic, or you also can select the black here, which is only the black. And now I'm gonna drag it from right to the left, something like this. But you can see it also deletes here, we're overlap. So I'm gonna do it from somewhere from here. And I also can modify it. See that if I go here, it's gonna create this, uh, you can see this side of the bottom layer. So I'm gonna need to adjust it in a way that is going to disappear. And I'm gonna bring this maybe here. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this here. I also can see some light line in the zone. So what I'm gonna do is select a solid color, make it black, click OK, and I'm gonna drag it right under all the layers so now it's disappeared. I'm gonna press and hold Shift Select All, press Control G to group. I'm gonna rename it as Background BG. And now we're gonna select the Type tool, Press Control T, press and hold out, scale it up. Now I'm gonna position it somewhere here. And now I'm gonna go and double click on the layer with the text. And let's select the gradient overlay, make, make sure to check it. And we want the angle on minus 90 degrees. You can click on the gradient. And let me click on the black. I'm gonna bring the black a little bit up or you can bring this uh, diamond a little bit to the left. Like so, and I'm gonna bring the black too. Something like this, click OK, click OK. And I'm gonna create a new copy of this, press and hold Alt, drag it up. I'm gonna select the Rectangle Marquee tool and select this area, like so. And I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna select again the gradient. And I'm gonna go with the second option, this is the radial gradient. And I'm gonna go here somewhere in the center and I'm gonna pull it like this. Now you can see we're gonna need to switch the colors. So we got here the opacity control and I'm gonna bring this to the right and the white to the left. So it's gonna look something like this. And I'm gonna straighten this out and I'm gonna go to the circle, drag it down. Now I'm gonna need to make it more intense. So I'm gonna select the layer, press Control G to duplicate. I gotta decrease the opacity a little bit. I also wanna add some colors on it, so I gotta go to the adjustments, scroll down and select the gradient map, click on the gradient, and I'm gonna switch up the color, double click and add some nice colors, click OK, double click on the white, click OK. You also can change the blend mode. I'm also gonna go back to the adjustments, scroll up, and I'm gonna select the photo filter, add some orange, and I'm gonna decrease it. And that's how I make this really cool neon gradient text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.